Hey Mike. Yes, Erin? I noticed that when you served that customer over there, you addressed her as sir. She is a regular patron here. Did you notice she didn't look very pleased when you called her sir? May I ask you why you addressed her as sir? I didn't know that was woman. I thought she was a he. She looks like a guy. So I addressed her as a dude. I didn't realize she was a she. Well I am guessing that you probably just assumed her gender. Assumed what? Assumed her gender. Her identity based on her physical appearances and how she presents herself. It's common for a lot of people to assume that just because somebody who appears to be dressed in so-called men's clothes and appears masculine, they are or should be referred to, in masculine pronouns, that they are a man, and that you should address them as sir. Or in reverse somebody who is wearing so-called women's clothing, and appears to have feminine features, such as breasts and or a softer voice, they are automatically considered to be a woman, and that you address them a ma, a mom is these appearances we take on by choosing what you wear and how to look, is a part of how we perform gender. Perform gender? What's that mean? Well a simpler explanation, in regards to this situation, performing gender in the case of appearances is how we consciously decide what clothes to wear, makeup to use, and hygiene products to use, based on cut, color, and what our sex is. We are taught as children what to use and wear based on whether or not we are a boy or a girl as defined for us based on our sex, by our family, friends, and our society. It's something most people do not notice. Also, sometimes you come across somebody whom you are not sure is either male or female. Their gender identity or sex is visually ambiguous. I have heard people be very rude, and refer to people as it or he she. Oh yeah. I have seen people like that and my friends say the same kinds of things. Also, it is kind of hard to figure out how to address someone as ma or more sir when you're not sure if they are a man or a woman. Well just let me tell you now that, that those kinds of references are very rude and should be considered completely unacceptable here or in any kind of customer service situation. Really? It's that big of a deal ha? Huh? Yes it is a very big deal. You can seriously offend someone when they are referred to in a masculine or feminine title that they don't identify with. They can also be offended because somebody just assumed that they were a man or a woman when they may be the opposite, or is something else. Or try this out for size. In our society we are raised only to recognize two binary sexes and genders that being male slash female or man slash woman. When in our society we have people who identify as transgendered, gender queer, or third gendered. Somebody who is trans may be going through a transition from male to female or from female to male. By making the mistake and referring to them as the gender they do not identify as, based on small things, like for example, you notice and Adam's apple or their breasts, you may completely ruin their day. Yeah, I suppose that would not be very pleasant and very embarrassing. Yes, they may be embarrassed and even worse on our end. We may not even know that we just made that mistake and they are offended, embarrassed, or in the case of someone who is transgendered, insecure because they feel like they are not passing for the gender they are assuming, transitioning into in that matching sex. Wow, I never thought about that. So how could we remedy this situation? I could pay closer attention to appearances before I address someone. No. Do not pay attention to appearances. Just don't address somebody as ma or sir. Just say may or can I help you. Or I'll be right with you folks in a moment. Also, I can help you folks over here. There are other plenty of other ways you can do that, but that's just how I say it. If you're trying to get somebody's attention just say excuse me so on and so forth. You don't really need to say ma or sir. There is no reason you should need to use gendered pronouns when you can address them directly. Some places may consider it traditional, classy, or proper to address people in that way. But think of it this way, which is more respectful. Assuming the gender of a person you don't know or don't really know that well, or making the effort to not assume their gender. Wow you make a really good point. 
I will work on trying to get out of the habit of assuming a person's gender. Now that I think of it, it seems more professional to not assume a person's gender. I think I may just try learning the names of our regular patrons so that I can refer to them by name, to seem friendlier. I think this will be good practice for the future since I am a business major and I want to enter the corporate world. I'm sure there is a lot of gender diversity in any major corporation. Hmm. Sorta. Of. Oh? To get back to our original topic of conversation. That customer you spoke to, is my friend Rebecca. Although she identifies as a butch dyke, she still identifies a woman, and she does get offended when people assume otherwise. So please, watch what you say, 